a question here on what is the bad research regarding home birth and why is it bad? And here in Canada um, and in Britain and in some of the Scandinavian countries and in Holland, they have huge perinatal databases which are collected in the same way um, uh, for all births by a third party, they're not biased, and they can use this data to do their research. Um, in the United States, they don't have that, and so what they usually use is a birth certificate. Now, a birth certificate is analyzed after the fact, and on most birth certificates, it doesn't say where the birth was planned, only where it took place. And as a result, um, some of the births that are included were unplanned home births. So some kind of an emergency event happened such that it took place at home. And we all know that unplanned births are going to have worse outcomes. As well, with the birth certificate data, um, it's unclear who did the birth. So somebody can sign a midwife, but it may be the midwife who actually received that person if they were transferred to hospital. It may not have even been an attended birth or... It could, be, um, it could be just incomplete or um, any one of a number of people could have signed that whose qualifications aren't clear. And so when you have that kind of data collection, you get very different results than what we do have in Canada, the UK, and um, Holland. So um, most recently, some of you might be aware of uh, a combination of studies called a meta-analysis that was done by Wax, who's an obstetrician in the US, and this has been widely quoted by ACOG, who's the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Now, this particular meta-analysis is um, really interesting in that they use non-standard definitions, and because of that, their numbers don't make sense because they put backwards some of their um, comparisons of planned home and planned hospital birth. But not only did they use non-standard definitions, they used studies that were 30 years old, some of them. They included studies where they had lay midwives, not, not trained at all, and they had small studies that were not population-based. As if that wasn't enough, when we looked at their data, we could find no mathematical explanation for their results. These results could not be calculated from the data that they gave. We then went to the software and to the people that used that software to generate those numbers. One of our mathematicians from UBC looked into this, and we found that the software was actually computationally incorrect. So it was programmed wrong. It was spewing out the wrong numbers. And so various um, letters have been written to the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology outlining these things. There's been protest letters to other journals like The Lancet, which is a prestigious um, uh, journal from the UK. And so far, the um, American Journal has responded by giving more information about how these things were calculated, and it's just compounding the results because the more information they put out, the more mathematical errors are in it. And so this is still a raging debate um, they're still refusing to retract it, and there's um, articles and letters abounding in the other literature about what's wrong with this, and it's really destroying the credibility of the journal. But the fundamental problem is having to use bad data, or perhaps um, retrospective and unverified and incomplete data that's on the birth certificate compared to the population organized approach we have in Canada to collecting data about birth. Um, uh, I and some of my colleagues, Laura and Colleen over here, um, have just updated an annotated bibliography on uh, home birth, which uh, reviews the good and the not so good uh, literature. I, it's an annotated bibliography I've maintained for the American College of Nurse Midwives for a number of years, and it'll be available this week, and so we'll uh, be happy to make that available also to all of you for, who want sort of the skinny on different, different studies that you hear about.